In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the best buffs for the Pika raid in 3rd C. If you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe, since only 1% of people who watched my last couple of videos were subscribed. I also host giveaways in my Discord server for AOPG, and currently there's a giveaway for Dragon, Soul, and King's Fruit. If you enjoy my content, make sure to like, subscribe, and join the Discord. Now for today's video. Now starting off, we have Gojo, and it's moved limitless. You will need Sorcerer, 70k gems, and 4 Prism Realms, which drop from Sukuna in Jujutsu. Gojo with Limitless gives 2.2 times damage, 2 times speed, and 2 times damage reduction, which helps you survive Pika, and it also gives a passive dodge. Now for the move that we want on Gojo, which is Limitless, you will need the Sorcerer Race, so you can either go and get the Sorcerer Race, which might cost you a lot of gems because it is a 1%, or you could get all the rest of the moves apart from Limitless and then get Limitless. Now you can spin races with Robux or in the gem shop for 500 gems. But Sorcerer is a 1% so I wish you the best of luck. Once you either have Sorcerer or you want to get Gojo's other abilities, head to Jujutsu Island in the Multiverse Sea. You're going to need to kill Sukuna until you get one Prism Realm and then you can speak to Yuji who's on the left of Sukuna. He will tell you to go to Gojo who's on the building in front of Sukuna and then Gojo will tell you to defeat his dungeon. The dungeon isn't really that hard for obviously for 30 players because it only has 15 million HP. Once you complete the dungeon, go back to Gojo and he will give you the support style. Now if you keep speaking to him, he will keep unlocking the moves for you. Each move is 10,000 gems. Apart from Limitless that is 20k gems. Now once you unlock all the moves apart from Limitless, He's going to tell you to do his Limitless Gojo Dungeon and you're also going to need 3 more Prism Realms and the Sorcerer Race. So if you already have the Sorcerer Race, you can just get this. If not, you're going to need to go and get the Sorcerer Race. Best of luck, it is a 1%. Now for damage, Full Body Hacky. Now for Full Body Hacky, you're going to need King's Hacky from 2nd C and Full Body Hacky has 4 stages. For stage 1, it requires 5k Hacky stats, 10k gems and 1 Pika Dungeon complete and it buffs HP by 2.3 times and damage by 1.9 times. And the Haki Trainer is located on Shanks Island. Now for Stage 2 Haki, you need 5.4k Haki stats, 15k gems and 2 Pika Dungeons, and it buffs HP by 2.6 and damage by 2.2. Next is Stage 3. It requires 6k Haki stats, 20k gems and 3 Pika Dungeons, and it buffs HP by 3.2 and damage by 2.5. Now the last stage, which is stage 4, you need 7k Haki stats, 30k gems, and 4 Pika dungeons, and it gives you a 4 times HP buff, and a 3.2 times damage buff. And I recommend you beat the Pika dungeon one more time, because next is Garp. To get Garp, you need to go to the Garp trainer, which is on Garp Island in 3rd C. To unlock his fighting style, you will need 750 billion belly, 5k strength, and to complete 5 Pika Dungeons. If you have already done the full body hack kit and the extra Pika Dungeon like I said, you've already done the Pika Dungeons. You will also need Human V2 and 4 Cannonballs and they drop from Garp and Special Chests for a 5-6% to 6 chance. Now I'm going to talk about Human V2. First you're going to need to speak to the New World Scientist on Leopard Island in 3rd C and he will tell you to get a Soulless Essence, which drops from Krakens, with a 25% drop chance. And Krakens spawn with a 1 in 3 chance every 20 minutes. And for the world bosses to spawn, it's a 33% chance. You also need a Race Essence from Sea Beast in 2nd C. And because we're Awakening Human, you're going to need a Human Essence. You also need to defeat 2 Krakens and 2 Sea Beasts. But since it's a low drop chance to get the 2 previously mentioned items, You've probably already done this. You also need two Poneglyphs, which I actually have a video on the best Poneglyph route for first C, so go and check that video out if you need help. You'll also need 100 billion belly, and most quests in second and third C give a lot of belly, so this one shouldn't be hard. And lastly, 25k gems, and I also have a video on the best way to get gems in all Cs. Once you have a Soulless Essence, the Human Essence, you've defeated two Krakens and two Sea Beasts. You've gotten two Poneglyphs, 100 billion belly, and 25k gems, he'll give you a race soul. And then you need to speak to Davy Jones on Volcano Island, and with that race soul, and another 32k gems, you will awaken human. 
Now for the cannonballs, like I said before, you can either get them from the guard boss or special chests. Now next, which you hopefully already have, is gear 5. If you don't already have it, here's a little recap. To get gear 2nd, you need to equip the rubber fruit and defeat the Luffy boss on Luffy's island. And once you get it, it will respawn you. You must have rubber equipped because it is not a scroll, it will just give it to you. Now for gear 4 bounce man, defeat the gear 4th dungeon until you get the gear 4th scroll. And then use it and you'll unlock gear 4. Now, because this is a scroll, you can use any fruit you want. You just need to use a scroll and then equip to rubber. Now, you don't actually need anything else to get gear 5. But if you do want to unlock Snake Man, you need to go to Wilderness and defeat the Snake Man boss. And there is a 0.05% chance you'll get the Snake Man scroll. You use it and then you get Snake Man. Now for gear 5, you need to do the Aokiji raid on 2nd C until you get the permission scroll. But you also need to buy the Moose for 12k gems. And next we have titles. Personally, I use the King of the Beast title, but Curse of the Sea is also good. I use gear 5 so any title that buffs fruit damage will help me but king of the beast is the best for doing a lot of damage and next is dual yoru first you're going to need yoru from the mihawk raid which is a five percent chance and then go to mihawk trainer on low town and for 30k gems he will give you dual yoru and then he'll ask you to defeat the hawk eyes raid defeat this raid six times and then keep speaking to the me heart trainer and he'll give you all the moves apart from the ultimate and the mode. Next you're going to need the world's strongest swordsman title. Once you get it, speak to him again twice and you'll unlock the ultimate and the mode. And last, this isn't required to defeat Pika, but it's also nice if you want to do this fast. And this is the blacksmith. He buffs each weapon and fruit to 1.7 times damage for gems and the upgrade chance decreases every time and this helps solo in Pika in the shortest amount of time. Now, I also have a video on accessories, so I'm just going to quickly mention I use the Pika hat, Pika boots, Pika arm, the beast cloak, and rope belt. Those are the accessories I use for gear 5. And my G move does 1.5 billion damage with max stats. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and join the Discord. Only 1% of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if you subscribe, that would mean a lot. We're giving away a King's Fruit, Soul Fruit, and a Dragon Fruit in the Discord, so make sure to join. I hope you enjoyed the video and goodbye.